Welcome to episode 790, Neil Bloom, 51-year real estate journey. This is an outline of episode 790. There are two reasons we study Neil Bloom. First, he's one of the most famous real estate developer in Chicago. Second, he owns many iconic buildings. And lately, he headed many local casinos. It's all about supply. And there is a tsunami of supply coming down the road. And if somebody in this panel can explain to me where the demand is. Sam, <laughs> there is a huge <laughs> supply of, of apartment buildings in the downtown areas where all the young people have moved because there was a tremendous demand for apartments, and that's going to continue. So Excellent. you're feeling it more in that area. But the amount of development in office, certainly almost nothing in retail, okay, uh, is nowhere near that much of a huge hit. Neil, but it but goes market by yeah, market. Neil. Neil Bloom was born to Jewish family in 1938 in Chicago. His father left the family when he was 13. He grew up in a cramped apartment near his immigrant grandparents. In 1959, he earned a degree in accounting from the University of Illinois at Urbana. In 1962, he earned a law degree from Northwestern University in Chicago. He started his career as a lawyer and eventually a partner in the Chicago law firm of Meyer, Brown, and Platt. In 1969, at the age of 31, he co-founded JMB Realty. JMB's other partner is Judd Melkin on the left here. Melkin and Blue were college roommates at the University of Illinois. One of the first things they invested in were mobile homes. JMB Realty was a powerhouse in the 1980s, it managed $26 billion dollars in office buildings, shopping malls, apartments, hotels, so on. But it almost went bankrupt in the real estate crash in the early 1990s. In 1995, he co-founded private equity firm Walton Street Capital. He was 56. Unlike JMB Realty, this time he would invest all over the United States, such as this beautiful harbor hotel in Tampa, Florida. In his 60s, he reinvented himself, investing in Rivers Casinos in Chicago, Pittsburgh, and Niagara. Is a picture of River Casino in Chicago. We've uh, invested about a billion and a half uh, uh, during this same period we've been talking about since, you know, late 2010. Almost all of it in Walton, some of it uh, small part of, relatively speaking, in uh, casinos uh, outside of Walton. Um, and, um, you know, it's been a pretty good time to invest over the last uh, uh, year or two. And um, we'll see what happens going forward. In 2020, Neil Bloom is now 82 years old with a net worth of four billion dollars is still an active investor in real estate. <laughs> Look, I, I don't think there's any question that, that it's, there's, not, there's not nearly as many buyers and sellers transacting right now. The number Brilliant. of You're transactions right. are down enormously. For the reason I said earlier, you got, you've got a disconnect. But you also have a disconnect between the prices of the public REITs and the private market. The Most famous of which is the 900 North Michigan Avenue skyscraper. Let us go there. We are legacy. We are an iconic pulse set amongst bustling streets and anyone's ambitions can take off beyond the fashion, beyond our Michigan Avenue address. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave your questions and comments below. My next video will be Neil Bloom, Eight Lessons, wishing everyone peace and prosperity.